Hey, Commerce Minute listeners, want to share your opinions, give feedback, or tell us what you're thinking? Send us a voice message. Voice messages are an easy way for you to send us audio that might end up in a future episode of the E-Commerce Minute. They're the latest feature from Anchor, the platform we use to make this podcast. So what can you do with voice messages? You can send us show suggestions, ask questions, make comments on previous episodes, or just send us some love. You can send us a voice message right now from wherever you're listening. Just tap the link in the show notes. We can't wait to hear from you. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. This episode is brought to you by SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. Save time and money no matter what you ship or mail with SendPro Online software. Print shipping labels and stamps right from your desk and access discounted rates for as low as $4.99 a month. Try it free for 30 days and get a free 10-pound scale when you visit pb.com slash minute. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience the better way to ship with a free trial of SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. It's e-commerce minute episode 487. In today's episode, Amazon working on a wearable device that rates emotions. Aww. Smart devices want to know how you really feel. Soon, we'll be able to vent to our technology thanks to Amazon. Amazon is developing a voice-activated device worn on the wrist that can recognize human emotions, described as a health and wellness product. According to Bloomberg, the Alexa Voice software team and Amazon's Lab 126 hardware division are collaborating on the new device. The gadget, working in sync with a smartphone app, is said to have microphones that, quote, discern the wearer's emotional state from the sound of his or her voice, end quote. Eventually, the technology could be able to advise the user how to improve in their interactions during the day to change their mood. This advancement could help the company gain insights about future mental and physical health tools or better advertising targeting. That's what it's really about. The company could also use these emotional insights to understand what they should be recommending to the user. The project is just one small cog in the machine of products in the Alexa-powered device realm. Amazon has been staunch in their efforts to create a diverse ecosystem of Alexa-powered products so that their line of voice assistants and smart devices become more ubiquitous with everyday life, like Apple products. Although the details we've reported exist, Amazon has been very tight-lipped about the rest. It's still uncertain how far along this invention is or if it will ever become a commercial device at all. I don't know if I'm creeped out or impressed by this. I don't know. I think I'm creeped out. They go (laughs) under the guise of, oh, it helps us develop better health tools, but all it is doing is just another way to... Well... It's another way to track you. (laughs) Kinda. I mean, your Apple Watch does it, right? Like it, it, it knows your stress levels, kind of, right? Yeah. Your heartbeat and stuff like that. So I think your emotions are gonna be in there. Like people will, like I think technology does figure out, how, you know, what that will look like. You know, if you're stressed, angry, sad, I think your your whole body changes, right? So sure. you're wearing the watch anyway. Yeah, I and, and again, you're exactly right about your physiology changes under stress or under any kind of uh, sudden emotional pressure. But I think the bridge too far with a lot of people, and I, and this is the problem that people are having with voice devices in general, is that always on, always listening. It's like you've you're you're, you're kind of your trade off is your privacy for some additional insight. Apple Watch is one thing because it's basically just kind of measuring just what's going on. But someone listening to you go, I hear you're sad. Why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think your watch is going to do the same thing. You hear Siri go, hey. Hey, hey you're a little down. How about some chocolate, bud? <laughs> Start ordering stuff for you. <laughs> <laughs> We've ordered you one fluid ounces of Full spectrum hemp oil. <laughs> you seem a little stressed. How about some CBD? How about some vitamin D, please? Some vitamin D. Uh, too funny. So the uh, Lab 26 yeah. has already been behind the Kindle, the Fire Phone, and the Echo speaker that first introduced Alexa to the world. This is the first time I've heard of Lab 26, 126. Really? Uh, yeah. I don't know why. I, I, it's not been across my radar here. No, it's been around. Amazon filed a patent in 2017 describing a system where voice software uses analysis of vocal patterns to determine how a user is feeling like joy, sorrow, fear, disgust, or other emotional states. Do you hear the disgust in my voice right now? The patent hints that Amazon could use knowledge of a user's emotion to recommend products or otherwise tailor responses. So they've already filed a patent for this. Not surprising at all. Another patent they were given 
uh, mentions a system that uses techniques to distinguish the wearer's speech from background noises. Well, that's pretty smart. Mm. Stat time. Research has shown that over 90% of our communication can be nonverbal, but technology has struggled to keep up, and traditional code is generally bad at understanding our annotations and intentions until thus far. So I think voice is the final key. Now, if they put this in a watch, you know, I think some really good things can be can come from it from a medical standpoint. But again, the privacy thing creeps me out a little bit. Yeah. All right, I'm going to tell you about today's sponsor, Sempro Online from Pitney Bowes. Stop wasting time waiting in line at the post office to send your mail and packages. Come on now. Avoid all that confusion trying to find the best postal rates for your business. With SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes, you can send packages and mail without leaving your office right from your desk as low as $4.99 American per month. You'll save time and money no matter what you send, from letters to packages to overnights. The Fs and Bs. Starting at only $4.99 a month, you can print shipping labels and stamps right from your own printer. Easily compare rates using the online software. Gain access to special USPS savings for letters and priority mail shipping. Plus, track all of your shipments and get email notifications when they've arrived. And for being a loyal e-commerce minute listener, you'll receive a free 30-day trial to get started. And as an added bonus, you'll receive a free 10-pound scale shipped right to your door to help you accurately weigh your packages. Go to pb.com slash minute to access this special offer and get a free 30-day trial plus a free 10 pound scale that is not 10 pounds that weighs things up to 10 pounds to get started. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience the better way to ship with a free trial of Send Pro Online from Pitney Bowes. Or- can, I weigh my, can, can I weigh my shoes on that scale? Can you weigh your shoes? Why would you weigh your shoes? I don't know. <laughs> You're saying <laughs> you, it doesn't weigh 10 pounds, but you can weigh things to 10 pounds. So I will just want to weigh my shoes. Oh, okay. Because I was, you know, I thought maybe there was a like if you have like a shoe fetish and you just want to know how much your shoes weigh it that would be perfect yeah okay yeah that's good oh that'd be awesome okay all right um anything else on the uh creepy amazon device uh no at ces earlier this year neurodata lab demonstrated promobot a robot that is able to recognize emotions and react accordingly as well as as well as measure how satisfied a user is with the reaction the robots are coming all right that's your e-commerce minute for today we'll see you on the internet tomorrow that's it for today's show if you like the show do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on itunes and don't forget you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your amazon device just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing and finally if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi find us on social media at sumo heavy